Goody does find him, uh, which should be relatively quickly. Yeah, and we'll see what he's be doing. Siege tanks with this so slow um, speed will not really matter because of the spawn positions. Thor is be able to move quickly. I'm expecting Mech play a Goody. That's kind of what he does. Yeah, he does. I mean, even if we saw Hellion drops or something like that, or Hellion rush uh, with a, a few Marines, um, you know, it would still be in his playstyle. So, could be crazy here in a minute. Obviously, starting that uh, that wall off that we normally see against Zerg. Overlord going to scout in the nine o'clock. Not going to find anything. Uh, and now this new Overlord going to be moving out towards over the expansion just to get a little bit of a heads up as to what may be coming for him. And uh, Rax already getting started. We're not seeing a spawning pool yet. Should be seeing it shortly as that 14th drone is about to pop. 15th drone actually got started. Oh, so you might be seeing a 15 hatch or a 15 pool. We'll see which one is going to be the choice. But Goody, look at the picture of his barracks. He does have a spot open for a wall off with an uh, add on. Indeed he does, sir. Indeed he does. But uh, we are going to see a 15 hatch. Would not recommend this. Yeah, this is almost just unlucky because of spawning positions, but once Goody sees that, he should be happy. So happy. Yeah, we'll see what's going on in terms of if we saw, if we see any type of, you know, plan changes or anything like that. Barracks does finish, there's the add-on. Um, you know, I usually don't really recommend this, but just because, you know, a bailing bus can take down all, you know, your depot, your add-on, and, you know, your secondary depot. So, I uh, need to be real careful with that, but we'll see what what uh, Todd Man decides to do, but this could be a huge advantage for Todd Man with what little he has to work with. Um, uh, Reapers but, coming out. Yeah, this is not a good sign at all because obviously that spawning pool was not finished. Queen has not even started yet, and he's going to be left for drones to work with this. Yeah, uh, and actually the Reaper and the pool are going to finish at the same time. So this is going to be really, really tight. This Reaper is going to get a guaranteed at least a couple kills on those drones. Yeah, it's really going to come out to timing. If he sends it out immediately, he may be able to get here just in time to where the Zerglings haven't spawned. And when they do, they have oh. enough time to move. But, uh, SCB coming in. Two SCB, three SCBs. Oh my goodness, he's going to be throwing down a couple bunkers. Here we go. Oh, God, it's looking bad for Tom, man. Reapers do a ton of damage versus anything that's light, as well as the, um, the hatchery itself, because it's a building. And so, look at the micro of that Reaper. It's going to take out a couple of drones already. God, it's so, so deadly. It's much better than a Marine earlier on. And you can see Goody is so aware of this. Not even sacrificing getting any Marines out in order to get the Reaper to decimate this drone count. Yeah, I mean, look at this micro. He's already up to seven kills. SCVs actually healed each other up. And now because of that plus, range one, plus one range bonus that you get while inside a bunker, uh, this Reaper has a lot of range that you don't necessarily want it to have. Zerglings, of course, don't have speed. Luckily, Creep is expanding. That will help out somewhat. But again, two Reapers. You can see how much damage it's doing this expansion hatch. And this is one of the reasons that so many Zerg players have switched away from the 14 hatch or even 15 hatch and gone more of a 14 pool uh, uh, 15 hatch setup just so you have those Zerglings early for this type of pressure. Oh yeah, and third Reapers on the way with the fourth building. Uh, now the Queens are out, they will um, fare not as well as they would if it were the Marines, but still, it's going to be a lot of possible damage. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'd almost have those Reapers start working on that hatchery and keep it going, but... Oh, SCV's actually not repairing the bunker, and that's going to be a little bit of a mistake. Reaper's going to have to go to the high ground. They are going to get a lot more kills, though. This is a lot of resources lost. You can see 700 compared to 250. These Reapers have done a great job, uh, not only micro control in terms of just single unit kills, but just economical damage as well. You can see that it's 20 to 10 in terms of worker count. Todman is so far behind right now, it's not even funny, and especially this early a Zerg player needs to almost be ahead, if not on par, uh, with a Terran player, just based on the fact that mules will be coming down soon if they're not already present. And there you go, Goody doing a double mule drop to get himself back on track. Starport and double Starport actually on the way, so we're going to see a double Banshee crank coming on top of all of this, and oh my goodness, this is just going to be raw. And look at that, the Queen is so close to dying, you can see that immediately Top Man is exchanging his Queens from the main to the natural, because he needs to keep those Queens alive. If he loses the Queen, that'll be huge, but these Reapers are still decimating this natural expansion. And one only has seven life. I mean, literally, creep is going to be just barely enough. And oh no, the queen's off the creep. The reaper's turned around right now. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but this is oh my god. I don't think Tom Man's going to have an easy time uh, dealing with this because right now, 
goodie. Ten food lead, and this is such a low food game as it is, that is incredibly telling. Oh yeah, I mean, look at the gas and mineral count. You can see that he's saving up clearly for the two tech labs that just finished. So we're gonna see two banshees getting cranked out immediately. Um, I mean, he's not even gonna worry about cloak because he's got helis now. He's got marines. He's still got the two reapers if he needs them. Um, you know, this is just gonna be harassment city coming in here shortly. Yeah, you can see that lings are being forced to be made even with all this going on. The town man, he's still on such low drone count. 13 drones to more than double that in SCVs. So Hellion's actually going to backtrack. They didn't see something they liked. Banglings are on the way, but with Banshees inbound, especially with that one queen so low, there is no way that Toddman's really going to be able to do much here. He's really behind still on drones. He's, it's 28 to 13 right now. Um, this is going to be quite a, an impressive comeback uh, if Goody loses this. But you can already see that the lings are off creep. They're going to try to take these Hellions down. But you can see the micro happening, trying to get at least enough distance. Get them in a line. Banglings trying to go for the, the main deal. Oh, Banshee's going to be doing a lot of damage. Oh, he backtracked one of the Banglings. And unfortunately, 